Hey, hello guys, welcome to Amtech Viral. And in this video, we are going to talk about how can we create a desktop application in just five minutes. So let's get started. So guys, as you know that uh, we have already talked about iOS applications or web application that we have created in just five minutes. So today, what we are going to do, we are going to create a desktop application in just five minutes. And uh, you might be thinking that uh, how this is possible. So this is again possible with that software which I talked about earlier, which is Zojo. So we will take the advantage of Zojo and we will create a desktop application this time. And believe me, you don't need any programming language. So let's get started by using Zojo. So I have opened the Zojo application and uh, it's it will take some time. So what I have to do, I have to uh, choose an application from here. So basically, uh, there are few options here. So uh, as you know, if you have seen my previous videos, then uh, you already know that uh, there are multiple options on which platform I want to create my application. So this time I'm gonna select a desktop and uh, I have to give an application name. So uh, let me tell you what kind of application I'm going to work on. So we will make a browser application. Okay, cool. So I have to give a name of my browser. So let's give it a name like my browser. So it's cool. We'll press OK you don't know about the company name and all so guys this is our first screen and now what i have to do you can see on the very left side i have some build settings now i have to select uh, on which platform my application application is going to run so uh, there are some options like uh, i have to make this application compatible for os x or windows or linux or for only for this computer so i have selected this computer right now i am working on os x or you can say mac os so uh, right now i'm working on that and uh, there is a window which you can see like uh, it is a desktop application so uh, it will be you know there some there will be uh, more width than height so what i'm going to do now i i want to make a browser application so what i have what i need is i need a url field and a go button and there will be some web page viewer so let's grab some um, components from here so i'll select on library on the very right side right top side and uh, there are many options here so first of all we will select the uh, input field from here and let's just drag and drop here and it's you know it's so much fun while dragging and dropping because you don't actually have to do anything so uh, this is my input field now i will select a button from here and uh, this is my button and let's uh, make it equal in size so this is fine now uh, one more thing i need is uh, a web page viewer so it will be basically an html viewer so i'll look up for it in the control section so here uh, you can see on the right side there is viewers and i'll select the html viewer uh, from here and uh, in the bottom you can see what this do uh, renders html and provide basic navigation features so this is what i need and i'll drag and drop it from here so guys if you have seen my web application video then uh, you can also uh, if you are, if you haven't seen my video then you can watch by clicking on the card above this video and uh, what i uh, want to say that uh, if you have seen my web application video then you must be knowing that uh, uh, we have to lock these items to make it compatible for all screens so that is what i am going to do now so what you have to do you will select that particular item you will go on inspector on the very uh, right top side and uh, i'll select inspector so i have to first of all i have to give the id for this particular field so let it call address field i'll make sure that my spelling should be correct so this is fine now i have to uh, you know i have to lock it uh, what uh, locking means is that uh, whether it will be on the top left right so like that so it is on the top so top is locked it is on the left so left is locked and it is also on right 
a little bit right so right is also locked and bottom is not locked so this is fine uh, i want to give a hint here so i'll go to initial state in the bottom and i can write the q text here which is basically a hint text so i'll write enter your it should, should be capital y it's fine you can write anything enter your url and i'll press enter and you can see the hint here now i'll click on ok button i'll give it a, another name so uh, let it name as go button go button and uh, i have to lock it so it is basically on the very right side and just on the top so i'll un unlock the left side and the bottom side now i have to give it another name like go so i'll change the caption from ok to go and i'll enter so this is fine now i'll click my web viewer and uh, i will change its name to web viewer now it is fine now i have to lock so you can see that uh, it also it is also on the left it is also on the right it is also on the top and it is also in the bottom so i'll lock all the elements and uh, i don't have to do anything now so what i want to do when i will press the go button it should navigate to that particular url so i'll double click on this i'll press ok now i have to give the action here so what i do i will call the web viewer here web viewer dot load url which uh, url i want to load so this will be my load url and this uh, load url will come from the address field so i'll tab here address field dot text so this is only i have to do this is done and uh, this is just one line you have to write so now what i have to do i have to run this application so let's run it and here you can see this is my application you can see on the uh, top there is enter your url so first of all we will start from google so https this is uh, how we write a url and we can also assign https by default so that's fine write www.google.com so i have written the url now i'll press the go button let's see will it work or not so it's working absolutely fine so it's fun actually so uh, let me change the url wikipedia.org so i'll press the go button again and uh, well, what i have to do i have to make a loading bar also so we will do it some other time so it's working very fine and you have created your first browser application browser desktop application basically so i guess it was fun and uh, i hope you have liked this tutorial so this is all about from this video and uh, if you are liking my video then like this video too and uh, please subscribe to our channel for more videos thank you so much and best of luck